So what does that mean? Do not buy any acoustical material to soundproof a room anymore and save it big. What I'm talking about is a lot of material that has the word acoustic on it, it just racks up the price from quite a lot. And I did touch upon this in one of my previous videos, how to soundproof a room or the cheapest ways on how to soundproof a room. And that video did very well, over 100,000 views in a week. In that video, I mentioned something, uh, a little alternative to acoustical sealant. And in this video, I'll touch upon that and a lot more acoustical products that maybe you should just buy an alternative product that works similarly. But acoustical sealant, acoustical sealant is basically to replace your regular caulking. Usually caulking is made out of a silicone based product and acoustical sealant is made from a latex based product. What this causes is that your regular caulking is going to dry up and crack over time, letting noise into the room where you'd have it sealed around windows, around doors. Acoustical sealant, however, is going to stay rubbery over time. And the thing is, there are stuff out there in the market. I'll have links in the description below of all of those products to make it easier for you. But one of those products is a Red Devil Caulking. Red Devil Caulking is said to never dry up and crack over time. And that is the main thing because of, you know, when you get angry, you slam a door maybe, and then leaves crack on the caulking. You don't think that noise would get in, but about half of the noise can get back into the room from just a crack. So those cracks are a lot smaller. So of course you won't have half of the noise going back in the room just by having a crack around the door. But let's say you're letting in 5%. If you can block out that first 5% with an acoustical sealant, the thing is, is that acoustical sealant is no longer just a dollar or two more than regular caulking. It's double, sometimes triple the price, depending on the manufacturer and where you buy it. So it's hard to recommend an acoustical sealant when you're trying to soundproof a room DIY on and on a budget and want to see results because the more money you pay, the more results you'll expect. If you just spend a couple of dollars and you get 5% results, then it doesn't sting as much as if you spend hundreds of dollars and oh, you just reduce noise by 5%. That doesn't really sit too well with many. So that's why you have to be a little bit more conscientious when you go out and spend your money on products that claims to be acoustic or sound deadening. A lot of these can be replaced by another product that might not have those words, but have similar properties. So the next acoustical product that is hard to recommend is acoustical compound. Acoustical compound is something that you put in between two layers of drywall in hopes to make that wall a lot more soundproof. Before, it was mostly a finishing touch. A tube of acoustical compound wasn't that much money and it does stop a little bit of the noise. It's just that now one tube will cost you around between 25 and $30 right now, but you'll need two tubes per sheet of drywall. So now you're spending quite a lot of money making a finishing touch onto the wall where you could replace that acoustical compound with Another product, which I'll talk about in a minute, but acoustical compound, what it does is, as you can see on your screen, they are putting two tubes of this stuff onto the drywall and you smush them together. What this does is the compound is supposed to turn the energy of the sound waves into heat. A lot of products turns sound waves into heat. It's just what it does. So they're not lying there. But the thing is, when you're spending over $60, $70 per sheet of drywall to use this stuff, it's you'll be a little bit disappointed with the results. If the acoustical compound reduces the noise coming through the wall by, let's say, another 2%, 3%, and you spent $60 per sheet of drywall, it's not worth it, in my opinion. But one thing that is more worth it is mass-loaded vinyl. You can buy a roll of mass-loaded vinyl for a few hundred dollars, but that roll covers the entire wall and it works. It blocks sound. It not only blocks sound, but it also will deaden sound because it's made of a rubber compound. So you have that sound blocking and sound deadening capabilities. Another product is sound deadening curtains. Sound deadening curtains, that is exactly what they will do. They'll deaden just a little bit of the noise coming from outside. But sometimes if you look online, you'll notice that some of them are called soundproofing curtains. 
there's no such things as soundproofing curtains, but sound deadening curtains and soundproofing curtains, that'll raise the price a little bit. All you need to do is go to your local fabric store or curtain store or wherever they sell curtains these days and look for curtains that are quite thick and that will appear by the feel of it that they will soak up the sound. Now, if you really want something that will soak up more noise, look for blackout curtains. Now, blackout curtains have three layers. There is a first layer, second layer, and then in the middle, there is a black felt. That black felt is made to block the sun. Now, all of these three layers helps in soaking up a little bit more noise coming from outside, but it's not going to be something that you will be very happy with if you have a lot of noise coming through the window and you just go ahead and pay double the price of regular curtains and buy sound deadening curtains and you're just like, what the heck? They called it soundproofing curtains probably and it just doesn't soundproof the window. Well, there's other ways to soundproof a window. Video right there to figure out why and the why or I guess the how is not by buying sound deadening curtains. So save your money, buy regular thick curtains and you'll be just as happy because you won't have spent as much money and as expected, there won't be that much sound blocked coming from outside. Another product that they might hike the price by quite a lot and the results might not be as expected are different types of soundproof drywall, sound deadening drywall or just, I guess, quiet drywall. Well, now what makes this type of drywall a little bit different than just regular drywall is that in between two layers of chip rock, there's a thin layer of acoustical compound, or most of them are some type of acoustical compound. And it might block more noise than just a regular layer of drywall, but the thing is, is how much more noise? And is it worth paying the double price from a 5 8 inch layer of drywall versus a soundproof sheet of drywall? The answer is usually no. If you can get the drywall for a lot cheaper, or at the same price, if, it, if it's on sale, then yeah, sure, go ahead, buy it. But don't go and spend double the price for soundproofing drywall when you can just add a second layer of 5 8 inch drywall and add perhaps a layer of mass loaded vinyl in between the two layers of drywall and you'll have more sound reduction than just one layer of soundproofing drywall. And as I said, Soundproofing drywall, it does work a little bit better, but that's the thing. It's just a little bit better, not by much. And the thing is, there wouldn't be much difference that you can hear between a layer of 5 8 inch, or I guess an extra layer of 5 8 inch drywall over your existing layer of drywall. Now, the thing is, a lot of people will say that this stuff really works, and well, I mean, if you have a layer of drywall, and then you add that soundproofing drywall over this drywall, Will it block more noise? Of course, it will block noise. It will work at blocking some noise from coming through the wall, but also adding a layer of 5 8 inch drywall over top the existing drywall will also block a lot of the noise coming in. The thing is, is, is there a big difference between adding a layer of 5 8 inch drywall versus a layer of soundproofing drywall? Now your soundproofing drywall is between a few dollars and double the price depending on where you buy it and where you're from. No, it's not. The thing is if you add an extra layer of 5 8 inch drywall and it's within your budget and it decreases the noise by a reasonable amount, you'll be happy. If you go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars if not thousands of dollars more on soundproofing drywall and acoustic this and acoustic that, the reduction of noise is essentially the same as if you would have gone with just a, another layer of regular drywall and some different types of caulking. If it's the same type of noise reduction, you will not be happy with your soundproofing project if you ended up paying hundreds of dollars over budget. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully by following these tips, you'll save a little bit of money on your next soundproofing project and that you'll actually be happy with the results because you stayed within budget. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.